Welcome to day two. We have already covered the formula for a supercharged smoothie. We've gone into my go-to liquids that form the base of our smoothie. We have made a chocolate mousse supercharged all-rounder smoothie. And today we are delving into fruit and veg, which is the second part of the base that makes up our smoothie. And we are gonna make a citrus immunity smoothie. And I've worn my favorite lemon dress to celebrate. <laughs> So bring on the fruit and veg. In a world where most are reaching for the cereal and they're reaching for the milk in the morning for their breakfast, you can have more than one serving of fruit and veg in your smoothie without even noticing the taste. And so fruit and veg serve a variety of purposes in our body and they're full of amazingness. But the three things I love about them that I'm gonna pull out now is firstly, they're full of fiber. Now we know that fiber is the unsung hero of our health. Not only is it fantastic for our digestion, but it's also great for our overall gut health. And we know that our gut health is so closely tied in with our physical health and our mental health. And not only that, but fiber helps lower our cholesterol, helps lower our blood sugar, and basically just helps us live longer. So fiber all the way. Now also vitamins and minerals. These guys are full of vitamins and minerals and we need those things to help support the countless biochemical reactions that are required to happen inside of our body every day for it to function really well and thrive. Thirdly, my favorite, antioxidants. These guys have antioxidants to burn. Think of antioxidants like a warrior going into your body to fight the evil that is free radicals. <laughs> now, just to put it very simply. Now, you can describe it to your kids this way too. Free radicals are that dangerous enemy of ours that when in excess, they want to destroy our DNA. They want to destroy our protein and our cells of our body. So the free, radi free radicals go in to push those guys out of the picture. Now there are many different kinds of antioxidants and we want to get as many different kinds of antioxidants as we can into our body as much as we can. Now there's another benefit of having fruits and veg in your smoothie and that is that when you blend them up you're actually breaking down part of that fiber that's in them and it actually makes it more easily digestible from, by your body and it helps us to absorb the nutrients more easily. Not only that, but it also makes sure that our body is getting a slow, really, a slow and even release of those nutrients into our bloodstream so that we don't get those peaks and troughs of energy. So it's super interesting, isn't it? I just, I just love learning about how food can impact our body like this. So let's go into my favorite fruits and vegetables. You can find a more exhaustive list of the ones that you can try in the ebook that you're going to get. But for today, let's look at these. So firstly, we've got sweet potato. Now we have looked at sweet potato already yesterday, so I'm not gonna go into many of the benefits, but suffice to say that it's nice and sweet and it goes really well with chocolate smoothies as we discovered yesterday. Now secondly, cauliflower. Now cauliflower is part of the brassica family, so it's fabulous at helping our liver to do the powerful work of detoxification in our bodies. So it's really good for the gut, it's really great for our brain and for our mood. It's both really high in nutrients, but it also contains compounds that may reduce the risk of several diseases. Now cauliflower contains some of almost every vitamin and mineral that we could possibly need. It's high in fiber, B, B vitamins, antioxidants and phytonutrients to help protect against the onslaught of many uh, diseases and infections that can come our way. It has choline for learning and memory and it packs a punch with vitamin C for immunity. Now, broccoli is part of the same brassica family, so it is also really great at helping our liver to detox, but it also has tons of vitamins and minerals and fiber and antioxidants. Now, it is actually higher in vitamin C than cauliflower. And in fact, here's a bit of a fun fact for you. Raw broccoli has double the amount of vitamin C than cooked broccoli. So if you want a vitamin C hit for your immune boosting smoothie, make sure you're putting it in raw. But interestingly, if you have cooked 
broccoli in your smoothie, you're going to get higher levels of vitamin A and that's going to give you support for your healthy skin and teeth and bones and also give you great eyesight in the dark. That's another little tip you can pass on to your kids. So guys, it's really interesting to learn how these foods can work for us in different ways. So choose your weapon, raw or steamed. Now spinach. I love that this barely has a taste and it whizzes in barely even noticeable all while cleansing our skin from the inside out and contributing things like vitamins A, C, K, chlorophyll, magnesium, iron and manganese. And it may also help reduce oxidative stress in the body too, which is a growing area of awareness and discovery. Super cool spinach. And look, kale, kale is amazing and you can sort of, I use these interchangeably. All right, now avocado. Not only is it tasteless and adds to the creamy factor of smoothies that we all love, avocados contribute more good fats. Now we know good fats are beneficial for our health, but did you know studies show that eating a source of good fats with your veggies actually helps your body to absorb up to 15 times more of those plant-based nutrients? It's amazing. Avocados are even higher in potassium than bananas and the combination of B6, C and D and riboflavin and manganese serve to help maintain that robust immune system that we all want. Okay guys, berries. Berries are just outright yummo and when they're loaded with antioxidants like they are, they not only help to fight inflammation, but one study tested healthy men after consuming just one serve of blueberries and found that it was enough to improve their markers for oxidative stress and antioxidant defense against DNA damage. And that, my friends, is why I choose these fruit and veg as my go-to for our supercharged smoothies. Now, let's go ahead and make our citrus smoothie with our supercharged immunity premix. This smoothie is going to be fantastic for when you're going through periods of stress, because stress, as we know, attacks our immune defense really quickly and powerfully. It's also great for when you feel like you might be getting a bit sick or there's people around you at work or for the kids at school or daycare, when there's lots of sickness around you and you wanna just avoid that and put your defenses right up. So let's go ahead and make it. First up, the base, which we know is our liquid fruit and veg, right? So we're gonna start off with some fruits and veg that are super high in vitamin C. Check out the ebook for all the recipe, but I'm putting some orange, some lemon, some pineapple, a little bit of mango. I actually tried this without the mango and it really does kind of need it to soften the lemon and the pineapple. Now we're also going for that vegetable that's super high in vitamin C, especially when it's raw, remember, broccoli. And we're even going to do half of an avocado today. Oops. And I lost some skin in there. We'll just take that out, shall we? And again. <laughs> All right. Okay, so now the liquid that we're going for today is just water and ice, just to give that citrus smoothie a nice, clean, fresh feel. Don't underestimate the importance of ice in a smoothie. Super important. <laughs> okay, now when it comes to our premix, the premix is going to do a lot of the heavy lifting when it comes to our immunity um, functional foods today as well. So we've got some returning friends to our immunity premix today. We've got our seeds, we have four seeds there, and we also have our oats. And you might wonder, you might look at those and wonder, what on earth are those foods doing in an immunity smoothie? Because they don't strike you as foods that have high levels of vitamin C. We hear about the importance of vitamin C for immunity all the time, but there is a whole lot more to immunity than just vitamin C, of course. Let's briefly talk zinc, vitamin E, B6, and protein. Now, Dr. Libby Weaver, who I love, talks about immunity like a castle. And she refers to zinc as like the moat around the castle that protects it from the invaders. <laughs> Now zinc is a superstar mineral 
that enables our immune cells to develop and function as well as protect us from the collateral damage that happens when we're fighting an infection. Now also, zinc has been shown to decrease the severity and the length of the common cold, but our body can't make zinc itself. We have to get it from the foods that we put in our mouth. <laughs> so if you want lots of zinc in your smoothie, go for things like sunflower seeds, go for things like hemp seeds. They're both high in zinc, but they're also both really high in vitamin B6, which ups our body's ability to create those antibodies that we need to fight off infection. It encourages our body to make glutathione, and glutathione, my goodness, is my favorite antioxidant, if I was to have a favorite, <laughs> because of its role that it plays in fighting off that oxidative stress that we know is responsible largely for a lot of the health decline and age-related symptoms that we see in society now as we know it. And so if we have the zinc and we have the vitamin B6, which is helping us build that glutathione as well, it's going to do a lot for our immunity. And when we don't have that B6, studies have shown that it disrupts our immune system. And so if we can have in one smoothie, if we can get more than half of our daily vitamin B6 requirement, then that is amazing. And that is what we're getting inside of this smoothie. So let's pick on sunflower seeds, for example. Sunflower seeds are high in vitamin E, which help to regulate and maintain our immune system. You've got hemp seeds that are a great source of protein. We're gonna learn more about that tomorrow. But real quick right now, if we wanna have a robust immune system, our body needs a daily source of good quality protein. Now, the studies also show that when we don't get that daily source of good quality protein, we have a depletion in our immune cells and we have an inability to create the antibodies that we need to fight those infections again. And we do not wanna be in a position where we can't create antibodies sufficient to fight off infections. So. Adding a nutrient rich source of good quality protein will go a long way to helping us drive that immune response in our body. So we've got these guys, but we also have some new arrivals to our immunity premix party today as well. And they've all been carefully selected for their functional role that they play in building that immunity in our body. <laughs> so let's bring them out. Check out the kaleidoscope of colors we've got going on here. It's just incredible, I love it. And I should just mention real quick, you don't have to use all of those fruit and veg that we put in there, but we kind of just went to town today to show you what's possible. But let's dig into these amazing premix ingredients. Number one, camu camu powder. Camu camu powder is simply a fruit that's been dried and crushed to retain the wonderful properties of the fruit. It's incredibly, incredibly high in vitamin C for fighting bacterial infections, for general immunity, for iron absorption, and to fight fatigue and tiredness. Half a teaspoon gives you almost your baseline vitamin C needs for the day. Half a teaspoon, guys, it's incredibly powerful. All right, we're gonna go check out our beetroot powder now. Beetroot powder is simply dehydrated beetroots crushed into a powder. One teaspoon equals one beetroot. High in antioxidants, fiber, and lots of the good stuff like vitamins, minerals, and notably nitrate, which increases blood flow to the brain. Studies have shown that beetroot powder may help boost stamina during exercise and combine forces with that broccoli to help the liver with all that detoxing work that it does. Now, acai powder, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but you can see, look, all the, the anthocyanins in all these foods give it that robust, vibrant color that we just love so much. But acai powder is basically boosts a wide variety of vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. Now, goji berries, our pet birds love our goji berries. Goji berries contain polysaccharides, which research has shown enhance our ability to resist disease. Interestingly, goji's polysaccharides have a chemical structure similar to echinacea and mushrooms, which are really well known for their ability to support a healthy immune system too. Goji's are super rich in vitamin C and zinc, both of which we already know help us to protect against disease and aid in recovery. 
Now we all love turmeric for so many reasons, but for the function of this immunity based smoothie, I love that it has antibacterial properties. And that's one of the best ways that it works to help us build that robust immunity. It's also really well known for its ability to reduce inflammation and contribute powerful antioxidants, namely curcumin. Careful not to add too much to your smoothie though, or you'll have a hard time drinking it. And yes, I am speaking from experience there. <laughs> now, next up we have maca powder. I managed to sneak in a little bit of maca powder into most things that I actually make in the kitchen because it's so versatile in its, in its nutrients. But for the purposes of this immunity smoothie, I love maca because it's known for increasing glutathione levels in the body, which we're gonna speak more about. But aside from immunity, it also boasts nutrients known for improving hormonal balance, mood, energy, memory, and more. So that's why we love maca powder. Brazil nuts may be a little bit of a surprise addition to an immunity smoothie, but listen to this. Brazil nuts have been added to the immunity premix for their high selenium levels. Now selenium's role in the body is to support us to make that glutathione again, we know that glutathione is an antioxidant that powers up our immune system's frontline bug killers, a type of white blood cells called T cells. Now the great news about Brazil nuts is that one of those Brazil nuts gives us 73% of our selenium requirements for the day. So really a Brazil nut in your smoothie is a great way to go. Now last up for our immunity blend, we have lacuma powder. Lacuma powder is again a fruit that's been dried and ground. It adds a nice little sweetness to your smoothie along with another boost of vitamin C and some other beneficial nutrients and antioxidants as well as lots of fiber. So if you put all these together, you end up with a really powerful supercharged immunity smoothie. <laughs> and so we're gonna get started on blending all these guys up and you'll be able to see the beautiful color that it makes. So watch this. Now, again, you could take all these things out manually like I've done for years, like this. Or you could just use a premix like this. Ta-da! <laughs> All right, let's whiz this up. Watch the colors, it is amazing. All righty. Now this smoothie really does help me feel fantastic. Check it out. I love the color. Now you can top it with more goji berries. You can top it with some hemp seeds, whatever you like. Delicious. Yum. Now, if you're feeling the feels of fatigue and tiredness and you have this, it's gonna give you that vitamin C hit, which is gonna actively help to blast those feelings away too. So it's not just for when you're feeling stressed or sick, have it when you're feeling a little bit just tired for the day, because this will just help you give that pick me up that you might need. 